Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about a piece of gear called our amplifiers. And we're going to give it a lot of distortion, 50% THD. THD stands for total harmonic distortion. It's a measure of distortion, obviously, you know, probably in the harmonic ranges. And we all know from past videos that harmonics are critical. So I don't know what the exact measurement numbers are, but it's very, very low. And the point is not the exact number, but the fact that it's, you know, five thousandths, maybe it's five ten thousandths, I don't know. But the bottom line here is that very, very low levels of distortion. But what if the amp had 50% total harmonic distortion? What would you do? Well, you, you wouldn't buy it obviously, and no manufacturer could sell it. You could fix it, but if it's that bad, it's probably not fixable. So you'd end up trashing it, right? But that's what you do to your room. Your room is 50% distortion, probably more, but let's just use 50%. What kind of distortion? Pressure and reflections. And nobody does anything about it. Nobody treats their room. Very few. So if you relate it to a piece of gear, the distortion level in your room is thousand times greater than any piece of audio gear you would ever get. But nobody does anything about it. So you're missing 50% of the sound quality from your gear. It is, and that's true because people tell us all the time after they fix their room and treat their room that it's the equivalent of getting a new amp, new speakers, new cables new digital front end. It's a huge, huge improvement times five, I've had people say. So it's even greater than the synergy of all the units combined. So that should tell you something about it. So we have digital sources, very high resolution, and our room is analog, it's like the reverse, like a digital to an analog converter, only it's not converting to sound, it's converting to distortion. So that's how important your room is, right? So we want to start with the low frequency first in any room because the lows provide the foundation that the music is built on. Then you have the mids and the highs that build upon that, okay? So we have to have a good foundation in our building. We have to have the low end right. Most people have never heard a good low end. Most people just live with the fact that it sounds horrible because the current technology in the marketplace, boxes filled with building insulation, they don't have enough horsepower to really get the resolution that you need in the low end. It's not the product's fault. It's mostly the people that are marketing it. So mids and highs are built upon the lows. We got to treat all three sound fields in a room. Remember, in a, in a room, we have the width, the height, and the length, right? All three sound fields. And they all have different frequency and amplitude issues. So they're going to require maybe the same technology for low frequency management, but maybe more on this surface, less on this surface. It just depends on the frequency and the amplitude of the problem. But you got to know that there's three sound fields in a room, and you got to know that each sound field has a different frequency and amplitude of issue. And that's what you have to do. Go back to our original acronym, type, amount, and position. After you identify the problem, what type of treatment you're going to use, how much you're going to use, and where are you going to place it? These are all questions that have to be asked. But if you knew the distortion in the room and you translated that to a piece of gear, you would never buy the gear. So why do we still buy our rooms and not treat them? Buy them in the way they sound? They sound horrible. Treat your room. If the improvement is not dramatic, like we say it is, don't worry about it. We'll come and get your products because they'll already be sold. We've never had a product return in 17 years not even a piece of foam. So you've got to understand how important the distortion level of your room is. So I thought, well, everybody knows what an amp is. Everybody 
pretty familiar with THD and the distortion of that. So think about that when it comes to your room and your room is producing thousand times more distortion. You would never put up with that in a piece of gear. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.